Good evening. Hi, Miss. Hi, good evening. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm fine. And you? Um, yeah, I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Uh, did you do something interesting today? Um, just work. Just work. Are you uh, your teacher, right? Yes. Are you teaching online or you're going um, to the site? To the school? No, I I go to the high school. I I teach music. Okay. Wow. Well, you're going from Monday to Friday or just some days? No, all days to Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday. Okay, so that is yeah, yeah, that should be tired. <laughs> Yes, but I just, I just go for two hours. Two hours a day? Yes. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yes. And the rest of you, what have you done today? No comments? Okay, what about the exercise on the platform? How are you doing with that? Have any questions? No questions in regards of the platform exercises? No, there's, there aren't any questions. All right. Wow. It's because we are not working it. <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, yeah, I, I just got a, a, a text message yesterday that it just three from this group uh, haven't done anything in the platform. I guess those three are are up to date in the platform lately for tomorrow. Okay, so. Let me share my screen so that we can continue with yesterday's class. All right, uh, internet's kind of slow with rainy days. It's raining here. Oh, wow. that's amazing. Yes. Okay, so uh, yesterday we talked about imperatives an infinitive for giving suggestions, right? And we have a couple of sentences there, um, like uh, examples for that topic. So let us practice pronunciation and repeat those sentences that we have there. Let's repeat. Be sure to press these keys. Be sure to press, sure this, to key. press this key. Make sure to save your work. Make sure to, Make save, sure your to work. save your work. Remember to back up your files. Remember to, Remember back, up to files. back up your files. Don't forget to include me. Wait. Don't forget to include my <laughs> yeah. favorite song. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget yeah. to include no my favorite song. Don't forget Try to not to be late favorite. for the party. Try not to be late for the Try party. To Okay, any question about these sentences or probably vocabulary or any new word? No, no. No, everything okay. So uh, yesterday we discussed a little bit about what are um, <laughs> imperatives. Uh, okay. Let's see a volunteer to read the first function and the first example. Hi. Okay, go ahead. A function, well, imperative function, imperative to use giving a direct order command. Wake up now. Okay, thank you so much. Next, volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Stephanie. Mm, imperative to use giving a warning prohibition. Example, watch out, don't Talk to me. Thank you so much. Next, volunteer. Me. Thank you, Andrea. 
imperative to use giving a advice. Example, don't be panicked. Don't eat too much. Thank you so much. Next. Jesus. Miss, I have an, an, a question. Mm -hmm. Is okay the, the, the sentence imperative to use giving a advice? No, it should or... be an, it's missing the letter N, an advice. Okay, I, I was confused. Sorry. No, 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 it's okay. It, it's there, there is a mistake, a type of mistake. Okay, miss. Uh, well, I'm going to read the next. The function. next one, okay. Uh, imperative to use giving an inscription. Uh, example, go, go straight ahead, then run left, then the pill after a meal. Meal? Yes. Okay, um, right. And the last one, volunteer. Hey teacher, imperatives to use given a request. Please don't go, please reconsider. Let me alone, please. Okay, thank you so much. Any question? No question. Uh, go straight ahead. ahead. Eh, go straight ahead es como siga derecho, vaya recto, decimos en español. Siga derecho. Go straight ahead. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember that. Uh, something very um, particular about the imperatives is that they don't uh, they don't have a subject because the subject is already implied as you are giving an instruction, you're giving a command, you're giving directions. It means that you are talking directly to one person. So subject is implied, okay? El, el sujeto no se necesita porque como usted está hablando directamente con la persona a la que le está haciendo el command, el imperativo, dándole una instrucción, no necesita tener subject. That's why. So the imperative usually start with the verb and then the complement. We have a couple of examples here. Make your bed. Mop the floor. And then we have, uh, yes, we can also use infinitive to make, to mow, okay? Uh, as complement for a command. And also we saw this example in the platform. Let's mix imperatives and infinitives to come up with great suggestions. So we can combine them. We can combine the imperatives with the infinitive. Right, and the result of doing this is a great suggestion. For example, we don't understand English. This is what the, the kid said. So you can say, study your verbs, as simple as that. Study vocabulary, practice more. That is very simple and it can be rude. It can sound rude. So you can uh, combine the imperative, make sure and then we have a, an infinitive to study. Make sure to study your verbs. You're giving a common, but you sound very polite. Jose? Uh, well, as in with the sentences, make sure to study your verbs. If I say you should study a little bit, the meaning is almost the same, but it's, a, but it's an imperative. Uh, you're giving a recommendation, you're giving a suggestion using a model and an infinitive. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. Any other question? No more questions? Okay, so we continue. 
Now we have a, uh, in this nature, so you see, no subject. And then we have the infinitive to study your verbs. That was the previous example. Also, this was in the platform. Some common expressions is to say, be sure. And then a compliment, right? Yeah. So be sure to practice your with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework and try to pronounce properly. So you see that you start with a verb and, and then we start, we have an infinitive, right? So I don't know if you have any question in regards of this or any comment. Okay. Then we sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's okay to say, don't forget to drink water every day. Sure, absolutely. Uh -huh. You are um, giving a, it's kind of advice, it's an imperative, and you sound polite. Yes. Okay, thank you. Good example. Anybody else? Okay, um, there are negative suggestions is exactly like the example that Byron has already provided. That is a negative suggestion, but saying a negative suggestion no, no quiere decir que es algo malo. Es una sugerencia en negativo. Por ejemplo, eso, no te olvides de tomar agua. Don't forget to drink water. Um, so we have more examples here. Be sure not to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate in your, into your na native language. Try to mispronounce the words. Okay. Questions here? Entonces, no hay necesidad de agregarle el not. Uh, if you're giving a, a negative suggestion, yes, you have to add the, the particle not to make a negative suggestion. Yes, I omit it. I only did it in the first one. <laughs> oh, my eyes are tired, believe me. Uh, so you say, make, be sure not to speak in your native language. Make sure not to forget your dictionary. Por eso me sonaban raras, fíjese. Yo dije, make sure to forget your dictionary. Quiere decir, olvídate del diccionario para que no estés traduciendo. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Yes. Thank you so much. Ajá, como solo en la primera lo tenía. Ajá, Ajá. sí, por eso dije, qué raro suena. <laughs> Sí, señora, yeah, yeah. consejo al pie de la letra. Okay, try to mispronounce the words. Ajá, dije yo, sí. Tal vez para que le corrijan, hay que hacerlo a propósito mal. Dice <laughs> una consulta, compartió esta, esta presentación por el grupo de WhatsApp. Yes, I did. La, la compartí, pero como el martes, porque la modifiqué. Ajá, la compartí lunes y le agregué unas cositas más. Se la volví a compartir martes. Okay. okay, gracias. Mm -hmm. eh, y de ahí ya no, porque ya no la modifique. Okay, so. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, can you go back to the, the last one? Yes. But for example, on the one that I said the, for don't forget to drink water every day, because here is a, like a negative suggestion, so it's not necessary to add the don't forget not to drink water every day. Ay, ya no, porque ya le agregó el auxiliar negativo al principio, entonces oh, no right. necesita decir no otra vez. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question? Okay, so let us go ahead and practice with this. It says, look at the suggestions. Which ones refer to 
um, an alert system, a smartphone, a laptop, more than one answer is sometimes possible. So say here in letter A, we have the alarm system. In letter B, we have a smartphone and the letter C is a laptop. So uh, for example, the number one, try to keep it closed to protect the screen. It does it belongs to letter A, B or C. C. Try to keep it close to protect the screen. Letter C. Letter C, uh -huh. it refers to the laptop. Mm -hmm. So uh, let us practice pronunciation and then we're going to complete this exercise. Let's repeat. Try to keep it close to protect the screen. Try to keep it close to protect the screen. Don't forget to write down your secret code. Don't forget to Don't write down. Don't, Don't forget to write down your secret code. <laughs> Remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the floor, in the door. Remember, Remember to turn, to it, turn off it off as soon as, as soon you come, when you come in, the, in the door. Try not to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. Try not to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. Make sure to set it each time you leave home. Make sure to set it each time you leave home. Remember to recharge the battery before it dies. Or to recharge the battery before it dies. Be sure to turn it off before bed or calm may woke you up. Because you should turn off if the before bed or fire call may wake up. Make sure to keep the software up to date. Make sure to keep the, sure to keep the software up to date. Okay, so uh, number one, we said that it belongs to letter C. Now number two, uh, or you have any question before I continue, maybe vocabulary? Maybe pronunciation. I think we didn't pronounce correctly. Uh, pronunciation of uh, the whole exercise again? Uh, yeah, we can continue practicing. Let's repeat from number one and try to listen and then let's go ahead. Try to keep it close to protect the screen. Try to keep it close to, protect, to, it the close to protect the screen. Don't forget to write down your secret code. Don't, Don't forget, to, forget write to write down to secret code. One more time, try to do it faster. Don't forget to write down your secret code. Don't, Don't forget, forget to write down, down your secret code. code. Okay, sounds better. Now number three, remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. Remember, remember to turn, to turn it off as soon as, soon as you come in the door. Okay, let's split that one. That one is very, yes, it's a very long sentence. So I understand. Yeah. Yes. Let's say number three. You remember, yeah, remember to turn it off. Remember, remember to, to turn, it turn it off. Remember as soon off. as you come in the door. As soon as you come in the door. Yes. As soon as you come in the door. 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 Ya van destrabando ahí. Ok, otra okay. vez. As soon as you come in the door. As soon as, as, soon as, as, soon as you come in the door. In the door. Remember okay. to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. Remember, Remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. You did it. You did a great job. Yes. So, repetition and practice. Yes. You see. Okay, let's go ahead with number four. Try not to get it wet. Try not to get it wet. 
Try not try to get it wet. Try not to get it wet. Try not to get it wet. Try not to get it wet. Or the kid may get stuck. 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 Try not to get it wet or the kids may get stuck. Try not to get it wet or the kids may get stuck. <laughs> oh, very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Let's repeat it one more time. Try not to get it wet or the kids may get it stuck. Try, Try not, not to get, to get it wet or the kids may get, get stuck. stuck. Yeah, you got it. Uh, number five. Uh, make sure to set it each time you leave home. Make, make sure, sure to set it each time you leave home. <laughs> make, make sure to set it Make sure to set it. Make sure to set it. Make sure to set it. Each time you leave home. 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 Make sure to set it each time you leave home. Make sure to set it each time you leave home. Remember to recharge the battery before it dies. Remember, remember to recharge the battery before it dies. Recharge. Recharge. Uh -huh. recharge. One more time. Remember to recharge the battery before it dies. Remember, remember to recharge the battery before it dies. It's time. Be sure to turn it off before bed. Be sure to, be sure be sure to turn it off before, off before bed. bed. Be sure to turn it off before bed. Be sure, be, sure to turn it off before bed. Be sure to turn it off before bed. Be sure, be sure to turn it off before bed. Or a call may woke you up. Or a call may wake you up. Yeah, it's wake. Sorry, no sé por qué vi como que estaba en pasado. Woke you up. Wake up. Wake you up. Wake you up. Ay, sí. <laughs> Wake you up. Wake you up. Wake you up. Okay, one more time. Be sure to turn it off before bed. Be sure to turn it off before bed. Or a call may wake you up. Or a call may wake you up. Okay, one more time. Be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may wake you up. Be sure to make you up. You up. Yes, this is uh, the longest. I think this is the longest sentence, right? The <laughs> yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, the last time. Be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may wake you up. Be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may wake you up. Okay, last one. Make sure to keep the software up to date. Make sure, make sure to keep the software up to date. Make sure to keep the software up to date. Okay, now let's see. Uh, we said that the number one belongs to a laptop right? see. sense teacher uh-huh so what okay. do you think about number two there be or c Little a Little an alarm a. system uh-huh yeah, yeah. remember that more than one answer is sometimes possible yeah yeah mm -hmm. Because we had a secret code with telephones, with laptops. And with the alarm system. With the alarm system as well. Yeah, so the number two may belong to the three devices, right? Yes. A, B, yes. and C. Uh-huh, A, B, and C, I think it's okay for the three devices. Yes. But, in the, but on the platform, I think it's B. Ah uh, yes. Um. In yeah, in the platform, it may be just one option. But in this exercise, uh, we said more than one answer is sometimes possible. But yes, 
this is important. Remember that in the platform, answers may vary. So number three. Letter A. Very good. Uh, number four. Letter C. Sí. Teacher, yes. what is wet? Uh, mojado. Oh. Okay, Done. thank you. Okay, so. In the it could be I A and C, I guess. Yes, yeah, some computers have, uh, they have key, but yeah, it can be letter A and might be the letter C as well. Good job. So number five, make sure to set it each time you leave home. Letter A. Letter A, definitely. Yes, that's yeah. correct. Number six, remember to recharge the battery before it dies. B and C. B and C, yes. Okay. Uh, be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may wake you up. B. 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 Okay, good. Number seven, be sure to turn it off before bed. Oh, estoy leyendo la misma. Ay, Dios. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, number eight, make sure to keep the software up to date. Could be. Yeah, could be. Could be the letter B and also letter C. Yes. Frequently is C. Mm -hmm. Both. Almost. Okay. Um now let us uh, give other suggestions for using the items in part uh, in this exercise. And we can use those phrases that we have here. Make sure to, be sure not to, try to, try not to, remember to, or don't forget to. So you have to write uh, more suggestions about these three items and you can use those phrases. I'll give you some minutes for you to write on your notebook suggestions for these items. So don't use this one. You have to create different suggestions, new okay. suggestions. Okay. In groups? In groups? <laughs> mm, we can do that. Uh, let's yeah see. okay i'm going to create the breakout rooms and uh, si quieren compartir pantalla me dan chance porque tengo que estar seteando cada vez para que puedan este compartir no no he logrado solventar eso ay 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 cómo se hacía make sure to set the platform yeah I have... <laughs> <The Zoom. laughs> okay Make sure to set the breakout rooms so we can share the screen. That's a good one. Okay, so let's um, breakout rooms. Okay. Okay, there you go. Mm. 
I'm back. <laughs> yeah, so I'm missing some people still in breakup rooms. That was funny. Yeah. Oh, really? So we enjoy our groups. Excellent. It's nice to hear that. And uh, I like the fact that when you want something, you're confident enough to tell me. So I accept every suggestion. If you say, I want to practice more uh, pronunciation, I will do that. We would like to do this in group. I will do that for you. So <laughs> I'm oh, happy to, to know that you really enjoyed this one. Um, okay, let's see. Volunteers, <laughs> share the sentence. We have one teacher. And let's see, who's the first volunteer? Me. Okay, Carol. Make sure to read the first ad for next week. Okay, that's a good one. Yes. Uh, next. Manuel. Yeah, uh, make sure to speak only in English. Okay. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Okay, Andrea. Don't forget to wash your car. Don't forget to wash your car. Ah, okay, two. Excellent. Very good. Uh, anybody else? Yes, I have <laughs> one sentence. I Can have... I read it? <laughs> Try not to drop your computer. Okay, try not to drop your computer. Very good. Uh, you know, teacher, we have a question. We can use drop or drop is served for liquid. Uh, or we can say this one uh, is fall down. Fall down. Drop. Spell. Yeah, drop es, es tirar algo, pero si es un líquido, derramar, the word, the verb, yeah. is spill, the one that I just wrote in the chat, spill. Okay. That is for Thanks liquid. For computer, it's, it's, it's okay to say drop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Good. Uh, Byron? I, um, one of the sentences, uh, I think this is right. Remember to exercise early morning, but I'm not really sure if I need to add D-O after remember to. Like remember to do exercise early morning. Uh, you can do it both ways. It, they are correct. Okay. And the other one, it's don't forget to go to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. And the one, be sure not to leave the door. <laughs> if I can say, be sure not to leave the door open of your house. Uh, yes, your your house's door. Mm -hmm. Your house door. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Got it. But all the sentences are correct. Yes. Okay. Excellent job. Anybody sure? else? Yes. Uh, 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 be sure not talk with to French. Make sure not to talk. Remember that tienen que usar el infinitivo el to oh, antes del okay. verbo. Make okay. sure not to talk. talk to French. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. Try, try to drink a lot of water. Excellent. Very well done. Teacher. See? ¿Sí? Try not to eat young food. Important. Very good. <laughs> okay. Is there any other volunteer before we continue with the next slide? Don't forget to homework in your backpack. Ah, don't forget to. Después del tú necesitamos un verbo. ¿Cuál sería? Don't forget to. 
podría ser put. Put your homework in your, your backpack. backpack. Uh -huh. Don't forget to put your homework in your backpack. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Is there any other volunteer that would like to share the sentence? Me, teacher. Okay, Jenny. Try to watch TV in English. Very good advice, yes. Especially, <laughs> yeah, it is a very good advice. So, um, uh, we stopped teaching for more than six months when this started, and I didn't get, uh, I didn't want to get rusty on it. No me quería oxidar. So, um, yeah, well, we get rusty if you don't practice. So, what I did was uh, to watch um, cooking programs in English because they tend to speak in a, in a easy way to understand. Es fácil entender programas de cocina o cuando le están enseñando a hacer algo porque van hablando más despacio, pronuncian más claro. Entonces, eh, it's a very, yes. very nice recommendation. Uh, so, you're learning two things at the same time. You're learning English and you're learning cooking. That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> it is a good idea. <laughs> Yes, nice idea. Uh, yes. Well, in my case, I haven't been in a class for more than one year. Wow. Uh, so, but I have been practice. I don't know if one of these days can I share it with the group the channel that I check for keep it practicing my English is a YouTube channel. But how? But we are in a in an English corporative, I don't know if we if I can share that channel. You can do it. So many people share um, if it is related to the process, if it is related to uh, help your classmates, uh, you can go ahead and do it. That is no problem. So you can share on the chat. Just lo único que no podemos compartir son cadenas memes, eh, pero lo único que sí podemos compartir cosas, eh, como les dije en la primera clase, eh, que nos ayuden, ¿verdad? Si yo encuentro una aplicación, un diccionario, eh, una aplicación de eh, phrasal verbs y la quiero compartir porque a mí me funcionó, o algún enlace de algún video, de algún tema de la clase, o un canal, o, o lo que sea, lo pueden hacer. Sí, okay. solamente okay. comerciales, así como que niños, panes con pollo el domingo, quien se anota esas cosas, no, ¿verdad? Ni cadenas, <ríe> ni memes, esas cosas, no. Siempre que sea relacionado al proceso de aprendizaje, pueden hacer lo que sea, ¿verdad? Ya sean eh, canales, eh, ejercicios incluso, hay... hay Hay páginas que tienen ejercicios como interactivos que de una vez le dan su nota, etc. Todo eso se puede, siempre y cuando esté relacionado al aprendizaje, que es lo que están haciendo ahorita. That's fine. Okay, so let's see what else do we have here. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. We have another exercise. Uh, ouch. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. It's, okay. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of slow. It's been raining today. Uh, I saw that someone wrote in the chat, but it disappeared. What's going on? Okay, so let us, uh, this exercise is similar to the one that we did previously. So, but we have some uh, different drawings here. Uh, let's see, the instruction says, write a sentence about each picture using an expression in the box. So we have, be sure to, don't forget to, make sure to, remember to, uh, try not to, and try to. Remember that after the to, we need to place a verb. Uh, we have the first one already done. You see uh, there is a lady leaving the, the, the room and uh, it appears that the computer is on. Let's see what do we have here. 
make sure to turn off your computer. Okay. Let us take a look yeah. at the pictures and write our own sentences. You can go ahead and do it in your notebook. You will have a couple of minutes. Okay, volunteers to share your work. For number two, a volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Stephanie. Uh, don't forget to charge the phones before going to sleep. Uh huh, good advice. Um, does somebody have something different here? Hey, me. Okay. Be, be sure to have a signal for your cell phone. All right, excellent. 
Okay. Another for number two. Another one for number two. Uh, remember to recharge the cell phone battery. Excellent. Very well done. Thank you so much. Now let's move to number three. A volunteer for number three. Me, teacher. Me? I heard me, but I, I, I don't know who's that don't one. Don't forget to make a backup. Don't forget to make a backup. Very good. Was it David? It's really important. Uh, remember to back up your, all your files every month. Excellent. Very good advice. Thank you so much. And the last volunteer remember, for the number three. Yes. Me remember uh, to give a cap uh, every Friday. Okay. Good advice. Now, number four. What do you have for number four, a volunteer? Volunteer for number four. What do you got? Me. Try to classify the trash. Excellent. Excellent job. Try yeah. to classify the I garbage. One. Or, yes? Uh, is try not to waste the paper. Very good. Excellent advice. Anybody else? Uh, remember to throw the trash. Yeah, remember to throw the trash in the trash can. can be very good. Now, let us move to number five. What do you got the number five? Me again. Okay, go ahead. Try not to be near the photocopy machine. I don't know what say the 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 name is specific for the photocopy machine. Yes, that is the correct name. Oh, it, this could be a scanner too, right? Ah, uh, that yes, it. Oh, okay. It can be okay. a scanner as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very Thank good. You. Thank you so much. Anybody else for number five? Remember to get some copies. Uh, remember to get some copies. Very good. Excellent. Finally, let's move to number six. Volunteer for number six. Try okay. to fill up your tank. All oh, right. Try to fill up your gas tank or tank. Yes, that's okay. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Just that one. Okay, so with this, we finish today's class. And please do remember to complete the exercises you need to have at least completed al menos la sección 1 y 2 completas. Si pueden hacer la 3 este fin de semana, Creo que es lo más recomendable porque ya la próxima semana debe de estar todo hecho eh, por lo menos con el 80% en esas tres partes. Sección 1, sección 2, sección 3 y el midterm exam. Y cualquier cosa escriban al grupo si necesitan asistencia, ¿ok? Ok. Uh, so, Thank see you. you on Monday. See you on Monday. God see bless you. Monday. Good night, Good night, Good night. Good night everybody. Thank you.